And for me tonight, the hobbyists who've won praise for helping to uncover national treasure. The British Museum has unveiled the one millionth archaeological find made by the British public. And as Chloe Keedy explains, most have been unearthed by metal detectorists. So we've extracted this far, we can get our hands around the back. Mark Wilcox knew straight away that he'd got his hands on something special. There were a few loose coins in the, in the hole. But he could scarcely have imagined that another 6,000 of them were waiting for him just beneath his feet. The hoard was buried inside three Roman pots, which are now in the hands of experts at the British Museum. After a painstakingly delicate excavation and cleaning job, they found that the coins dated all the way back to the 4th century AD. I'm amazed how well they've cleaned up. After 30 years hunting for treasure, these two friends could barely believe their luck. We looked at one another and there was this sort of silence. We got some water and poured it in the hole to loosen up the bond with the clay and I popped it out of the grain. Most amazing yeah. feeling in the world. It was like lifting the FA Cup. <laughs> Their discovery is one of a million now logged by the British Museum since its records began. Last year there were more than 50,000 archaeological finds and 90% of them, just like this one, were made by ordinary people out with their metal detectors. It's a pastime that was popularised in the hit comedy show The Detectorists. What have you got? Matchbox car. A lot of our history is being uncovered in this way and thanks to the fact that they're properly recording it, it's being recorded in the national database, we're really being able to build up a big picture of hoarding in Roman Britain. Because of lockdown restrictions, there were actually fewer finds than normal last year, but it's hoped the future will yield yet more discoveries of our ancient past. Chloe Keedy, ITV News.